Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The untouchable True School Sports Empire. And y'all know the rest. Now, this is my official post by review for Junto Nakatani versus Alexandro Santiago. And the result of the fight is a devastating sixth round Junto Nakatani stoppage victory. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I, I didn't really expect much from this fight. I thought, you know, Santiago was like arguably the weakest champion in the division. Um, and it was it was pretty one sided. I mean, I, I thought Santiago in the early rounds was doing a really good job of being patient and had he had his moments counter punching and he actually was able to show off his boxing IQ in spots of those like first two rounds. But as the fight progressed and as the class began to show itself, Nakatani just proved to be too big at that size, too disciplined at that size, and he just, it was a matter of time. I mean, when you get a guy like Junto who can be disciplined at that size, box tall consistently throughout the rounds. I mean, there wasn't a, a whole lot of lapses from Junto Nakatani it got to a point where he was so disciplined at that size that 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 Santiago had to commit. He had to commit. He had to go look for the fight. And the minute he did that, that's when the fun started. That's when Jutsu Nakatani started to pick him apart from the outside and use his range and use um all the gifts God gave him to, to beat the brakes off this dude. And um he even moves very well for a guy that size. And um you know, it just it honestly, all all respect to Santiago and the journey he's had in boxing, but it 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 it, it looks like what it what I thought it was when I watched the tape. It looked like a mismatch, and um, it wasn't because Santiago wasn't game. It wasn't because he wasn't a live body and didn't try. It's just that, you know, he was outgunned and outclassed in every department. So Junta Nakatani is now a three division champion, and um, his his profile on the and his accomplishments in the sport grow. And now he's a legitimate player at 118. And, you know, when we look at the rest of the card, it's like Takuma Inoue scored a one-punch body shot knockout. That could be a fight in Japan. That could happen. I think, honestly, Junto beats the brakes off of uh, Takuma. As, as good as Takuma performed, I don't think it's going to work against a guy like Junto because Junto's just too damn disciplined at that size. You're going to have to come commit at some point. And the minute you open up, that's you know that's it for you, you know. So um, I think Junto will be a hard fight for his brother Naya. Naya in the way, forget Takuma. I think for Naya, for the monster, he's a hard fight. That's how good, that's how disciplined he is at that size. And I'm not even the biggest Junto fan, but I can appreciate what he's doing. Like I can appreciate the greatness of of how he executes his his skills, you know. So if you can't get the Takuma fight, you got Maloney who is a tough out for anybody. You've got Emmanuel Rodriguez, who's a two-time champion and a very good boxer with deep amateur pedigree. You know, Bantamweight doesn't necessarily have a guy, but Bantamweight has a lot of good fights out there for Junto. So um, I'm looking forward to it. And honestly, it was discussed on the live. And again, shout out to everybody on the live. But it was discussed on the live that pretty much like Junto has the size and he has the frame to go up. I mean, I think he could really go up to 130. He could go up. He could be champion at 122. He could be champion at 126. He could be champion. He could. I, I actually think it's realistic that Junta Nakatani could be a sixth division champion. And it sounds crazy, but when you look how big he is, I mean, I saw a picture of him and Terrence Crawford, and they were damn near eye level. And he's very long and rangy. And Rudy Hernandez, who's a great coach, has him very well conditioned. And boxing very just, again, the word is disciplined. Off that, off that jab, and um, I don't. I, it's gonna be hard. Anybody who beats Jutsu Nakatani is gonna have to be a special, special fighter because it's just it's gonna be very difficult. But um, from the Santiago side of things, I want to give him his just do. Like Alexander Santiago, I like I like to see him against somebody maybe closer to his size because he just he just he did what he could. It just it was just hard because Junto doesn't give you anything to work with as far as like mistakes and um. He was he just was outclassed and it's okay. Um, he went he went he went he went for the gusto and tried to fight one of the baddest fighters around his weights and I can't fault him for that. But um, you know I respect him, good fighter. 
But uh, guys, let me let, let me know what you think. What do you guys? What did you guys make of Junta Nakatani against Santiago? And um, which of the champions do you want to see him try to unify with next? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure to subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.